Hey guys, welcome back to my channel Morally Makeup. Tonight my husband and I are going to the Bokeh Fashion Film Festival that's held here in Cape Town this year, as Cape Town is the design capital of the year. Um, and I thought I'd just form my makeup look for you guys that I'm going to do, because I think it is going to be nice and I'm hoping you guys are going to like it. I'm going to do flirty lashes and a nice vampy lip. And right in the end of the video, I will share my final outfit, um, my final look with you guys, but let's get started. So our first step, I'm going to do a primer, because I really want my makeup to last the whole night. So I'm going to do my Sensai Smoothing Water Makeup Base. I have really been liking this. It's kind of a strange, it's kind of like a, like a gel, watery kind of texture. And I'm just going to apply it with my fingers. I first want to do color correcting before I do my foundation. I'm using my brand new brush from MAC 287, which I think is going to be great. I haven't used it before. And my Studio Finish Concealer from MAC in NW25. And I just want to apply this over the pigmentation... Uh, just over the chin where there's a touch of pigmentation and just on these little blue areas under the eyes. I really like this brush. It's really doing a good job. Next I'm doing my foundation. I'm going to use my L'Oreal Visible Lift foundation. Really, really been loving this. You'll see when I put it on. It's really natural but it gives me enough cover. Um, I've got to mix two colors. This is my natural beige and my nude beige. Nude beige is the lighter one. I've done one pump of the lighter one and two pumps of this and just mix it up on my hand and I'm using my Real Techniques buffing brush. And I'm just going to put it in the center first and then just start buffing it in and blending it in. I'm just really making sure that I've got it all the way down onto my neck that it's really well blended. And I'm also just taking a touch of it onto the ear so that we don't get a hard line. This foundation almost feels like it's got a finish like a primer. It gives a really like silky satin finish without looking heavy it gives me enough cover it also has some really powerful anti-aging ingredients in it so it's really really a very good foundation i can definitely recommend it to set my foundation i'm using my mac prep and prime loose powder and just a nice fluffy brush and what i like to do is pick it up from there and just smush it in the lid so that i get most of the excess off like that and then i'm just gonna blot it onto all over my face Okay, I'm going to start with my eyes. I'm using my Pro Longwear Paint Brot from MAC in Lay and Low. This is just going to serve as my primer, so I'm just literally going to pop some of that on and make sure it's nicely blended and all over the eyelid. Then I'm going to use my Pixel Point Eyeliner Brush from Real Techniques as well, and this is my Bobbi Brown um, Gel Eyeliner in Black. Now this step is probably something you could do later on in your makeup look, but I really suck at doing this on myself. It's much easier doing it on somebody else. So I'm going to do it now so that if my eyes water, I'm okay with that. And what I want to do is I want to put this eyeliner underneath the, the waterline of my top lashes. So I'm just going to pull my eye up. And you can see that instantly makes our lashes look a bit thicker right at the base. I'm actually closing my eyes and just feeling where the brush is going. I really suck at doing this on myself. So as you can see, I got the liner right at the bottom, but I went a lot over on this side. So that's why I'm doing it first. So I'm just going to take a cotton bud with some eye makeup remover. I really enjoy this Rimmel Gentle Eye Makeup Remover. It's not too oily, doesn't leave a residue. So I'm just going to take that and just pop it over so I get that black off. And then I will just apply my primer color on top of that again quickly. The reason why I'm using my cream liner instead of a pencil liner on this bottom line on the inside is because the cream liner lasts and it doesn't smudge onto the bottom water line like a pencil does. Okay, next step for our eyes, I'm going to use my Chanel. Um, these are really, really beautiful. They are like cream eyeshadows and this is color Ebluey, number 86. They have the most beautiful pigment that I honestly, I've never seen on any other brand before. And this I'm just going to apply on the outer edges. I want to leave this gap in the middle. You'll see why just now. I want to put it in the crease. And I want to extend it up there a little bit. And it's also going to go underneath. And then with my 217 blending brush from MAC. I just want to soften this line and just blend this color in. I want this color just to be a bit more intense. Just on this inner corner there. And this outer corner. So I'm just patting on a little bit extra. So I'm just using a smaller brush. This is my accent brush from Real Techniques and just grabbing some of that. And I just want to get right to where these lashes are growing out. Also from Chanel, one of their cream eyeshadows, I'm using Epitant in number 84, which is this beautiful, it's like a, it's almost got a, it's a silver, 
but it's almost got a hint of like a greeny silver to it and I'm just using that small brush again and this we're going to apply to our inner corner still using that small brush I want to apply this to the center part over here then with my blending brush just always wipe the excess off if you have a towel or a tissue and I just want to blend that color in once it's blended on these edges, I just want to make it more intense again. And I want the intensity just here in the middle. So now we've got it nicely blended with great intensity. Then my Bobbi Brown Cream Liner again, or Gel Eyeliner, and the eyeliner brush from Real Techniques. I'm going to just do a really thin line on the top lash line. And then on this inner waterline, I'm going to use my Revlon Photo Ready Kajal. Um, this one's got blue on the other end, but they've actually got one that's white and black, which I recommend getting um, if you don't like wearing blue eyeliner. But this is a really good eyeliner that goes on the inner rim, and it really, really stays. Now for the eyebrows, I'm going to use my 266 Angle Brush from MAC. This is my eyeshadow Omega from MAC. I haven't had time to put it in my palette yet, so I'm just going to use it out of this. And I'm just getting some of that eyeshadow on there. Make sure there's not too much. And this I'm going to use just to fill in my, my eyebrow and then we'll come and do a bit more just now. Then grabbing my dip down fluid line from MAC, I'm just putting some of that on my hand, just so I've got, you know, not too much on there. It blends in the brush beautifully. And then I'm going to do that on the bottom part of my eyebrow. Once you've drawn that line, clean your brush off on your towel and just make sure that you blend that line upwards. Then using a clean mascara spoolie, I just want to brush through and this is going to help just to blend everything together. To finish off my brows, I'm going to use my Beguile um, Brow Set from MAC and just quickly brush through. And that'll just set all the hairs in place. Then coming in with my NC15 Studio Finish Concealer from MAC and this is a detailer brush from Real Techniques. We're going to come in with this brush and go right along this bottom edge of our eyebrow with this concealer. And this is just helping us to define this line of the brow even more. Once you've drawn the line there, 217 brush and just blend this bottom part of the concealer into the eyeshadow. Now I'm going to do my highlighting, also my NC15 uh, Studio Finish Concealer and that brush I used earlier for my concealer. And I just want to pop a touch of this on the nose and a little bit under the eyes. I also want to do this just a touch around the lips. Contour time with our MAC bronze from MAC and an angled brush. I'm going to just contour in the hollows of my cheeks. We'll definitely do on my jawline. And a little bit on the side of my nose. When Benefit was still in South Africa, I used to love the Coralista blush, but they don't have it in South Africa anymore. So a really good replacement for me has been Spring Sheen from MAC, but I still use the little brush that came in the Coralista. It works really, really well. And I'm just going to pop that onto the apples of the cheeks. And you can see this color just gives the cheeks a nice, healthy glow. Now it's time for mascara. The one that I'm going to use is from Elizabeth Arden. It's part of their beautiful color range. And it's called Lash Enhancing Mascara. This is one of my favorite, favorite, favorite mascaras. I actually wrote a blog post about it and it's number one in my top five at the moment. So I'm just going to do top lashes, bottom lashes, get right into the roots on the top of this. I like to just get the brush in there into the roots and then I zigzag my way out. For my lashes, I decided to go with this Allure Lashes. They've changed their packaging, which I think is beautiful. These lashes are my favorite lashes. They have a really nice thin base, so they look natural. But these also just give me a bit of extra without looking too made up. So um, I'll show you guys these quickly. Now it's time for our lips. I'm going to use my current lip pencil from... Um, Mac. I'm going to line all around my lips and color my lips in with this one. And I'm drawing on top of my own lip line. I'm not drawing out of it or inside of it, just on top of my own lip line. Then what I want to do is just use my finger. I'm going to smudge that line a little bit. Then with my OCC Lip Tars, my Obsessive Compulsive Cosmetics Lip Tars, this is color Vintage. 
I'm really gonna grab the tiniest little spot like that and I'm gonna start from the center of the lip and just start blending that in. Another tiny little bit. So with this color, you want it to sit just underneath the smudge that you've created. And that is this makeup look done. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Stay tuned to the end. I'm going to show you some pictures of the final look with my hair done and the outfit on and all of that. Just to show you what I'm going to put in my little clutch bag. I'm going to keep um, some tissues with me. I've got some chewing gum in here. I've got my credit card in my bag. And then I'm going to keep the lip pencil, the lip... Um, stick from obsessive compulsive cosmetics a concealer and then this little brush actually comes with the OCC lip tar and I'm going to keep those in my handbag if I need to do a touch-up I am 100% sure I'm not going to need any powder so I'm not going to pack any powder and then that's me ready for my evening so we just got back from the Boca Fashion Film Festival, which was fantastic. What a great showcase of talent. Apparently it's Boca, not Bokeh, as I said earlier. And um, I wanted to show you guys my makeup before I left, but I ran out of time. And you can see my makeup still looks exactly the same as it did when I left. It really, really lasted well. The only thing I needed to touch up was my lips, but um, just because they lost a bit of shine, they didn't really go patchy or wear off. So really, really impressed. I'll share a few pictures with you guys of my outfits and just a bit on the evening.